All right. So what we're doing here is we are um, starting from the beginning here, so that this will be root. So when I if I wanted to start on the second, but then the the next inversion would be you know the first inversion of this because the you know third inversion is one inversion from second inversion. So let's just start on the root so we don't have to reassign numbers. <clears throat> okay, so we have um, in the E shape, let's do an E shape F. And we have root. Now if I'm going to play a, uh, a, a diatonic, it would be seven root, two, three, four, five, six, seven root, two, three, four, five, six, seven root, two. Okay, so starting from the root, because E is the only position that we're not having a direct starting number. We have to kind of skip the seven and go to the root. It shares the, the, uh, the C box, shares the, the C shape, shares with the F shape, and, the, and even the A shape, but it also shares with the half diminished shaped kind of thing. So you expand the F down to, you know, down to the C shape. You also get the half diminished there. Um, we get the, the, the E minor and into the F and all that. Sorry, that's not the half diminished shape, but it, it, it should be. Because if we're in the key of F, yeah, that's just it. We're in the key of F now, not in the key of C. In the key of C, you know, our, our half diminished would be better played up in the E shape. So we are in the E shape with the key of F. It's about those boxes, you know, the, the three, four, five, and the seven root two boxes share same relationships, you know. So anyway, with the F here, we're going to go root two, three, four, uh, root two, three, five, six, root. All right, so that's the pentatonic for the E shape. Uh, key of F, right, F, G, A, C, F, G, A, C, D. I can do it a lot easier on the piano. Kind of having one of those moments. <clears throat> so let's move along because I have to explain the chart. Oh, my, my tape's kind of peeling off a little bit here. You know, so the... These, these inlays, they need a little bit of maintenance sometimes. If you want to do your own taping, you know, make sure you don't use this kind of tape. Because this, this, this uh, invisible tape is not invisible. This is cellophane tape. You want to use the, the actual uh, completely clear tape. You know, and I've done it with mailing tape. It has to be completely clear tape. <clears throat> it's stronger, but... Let's look at this now. We have a pentatonic scale in root. And then the next first inversion is going to be going to take the root and move it up and move it over here. It moves the two to the to the beginning. So we're going to play the root on top here. We're going to play the two to the two through two. The, the second inversion of a pentatonic is a three th through three. The third inversion of a pentatonic is the five through five. Okay, and then the six through six. So it's... All right, that's the six through six. So here one more time. Okay, that's what we're just looking at here. From root. Now on the guitar, you have to have to match these notes here. So this, that C, where's that C gonna be? Oh, uh, where would that C be? Probably here. You know? Now, if I wanted to play that pentatonic from there, 
um, to do an E shape pentatonic which starts on the root you know I'd have to do an E shape from what the third string E goes to what A goes to D I'm gonna be completing a D shape pentatonic there so it'll be it'll be so that's a little bit of magic circle right there on the fly so what are we looking at here um, you know one way I play it on the piano the other way it's going to be on the guitar and on the guitar we, we deal with shapes on the piano we just go up to the next octave so uh, the little bit of skill I had was getting to the notes in the next octave while playing a different chord shape you know and I tell this to um, the girl who plays the piano at our church Angela I tell her I ask her, are you doing your arpeggios in root position, you know, which are, or are you doing them in first inversion, or are you doing them in second inversion, you know, and obviously I was just busting her chops, because I know that um, she's probably doing them in first inversion, unless the chords are voiced in, in a certain way, you know, because she does them pretty quick, but she's great, you know. Um, we got to go to church tomorrow and do some more singing. Bobo, sit down. We're almost done. Bobo's getting feisty today because today's the last day before the shelter closes. I mean, I've been doing this for like eight years. <laughs> you know, watching her behavior change as the shelter closes. Oh, good. There's only four more hours before the shelter closes until Tuesday. And then she's mine. But this has been going on for eight years. I don't think I'm getting rid of her. But um, lately, we've been having some troubles. I wanted to bring my cats inside. And I can't because I don't know. I don't want to take a chance of um, Bobo picking one of them up. And you know how dogs pick things up with their mouth. <laughs> so anyway, um, but she's a great dog. She's wonderful. She sits here and... Uh, does it Bobo Bobo sits here and listens you know by her box and everything so that's that's who I'm taking care of over here at the same time all right so this is really this chart is is, is was born by um, was born by doing inversions okay and instead of now in in modal playing okay if i'm if i'm playing in a c here so it's a c bass you know one uh one two three five six okay if i go uh, a, a pentatonic from the fifth right five six seven two three like that you know that's still the same as a, as a major pentatonic but with the minors, we're not going to count diatonically. So the minor, I, I hit, I'm sorry, I have to keep doing this on piano for a second, but the minor for the, for the Dorian, okay, is, would be, if you did it pentatonically, it would be. And it sounds more like a, a half diminished one, okay? So I've kind of got this rule. I'd rather not do um, half steps in uh, pentatonic scales, uh, modal pentatonic scales. So we're not going to get the Dorian would be would be following the pentatonic scale of its parent major, the Lydian. So it'll be it'll be okay. So the so let's let's just play that. I'll do a Dorian chord on the bottom instead of. That sounds like almost half diminished. It's got half steps in it. It's going to be. Similarly, the Phrygian, uh, the E minor, would follow the pentatonic scale for the for its parent, the the the, the fifth. And with the six, will follow the pentatonic scale of the. Uh, of the parent key and that's what's done usually you do an E minor it's gonna be the parent key is gonna be that G 